Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, got some very special content today. Uh, I told everybody I'd start pulling out some of my old sealed stuff and uh, I've got some interesting stuff here. I've got a, uh, it's kind of like a one of everything but it's all my stuff. Um, these are just some random loose packs uh, that I had put away. Um, I've got some half boxes of stuff and uh, some other sealed stuff, but uh, definitely not ready to open all that. But I'm going to go ahead and open these today. Um, really wanted to crack these for everybody to see. There's some real history here. You can always remember the order, but we've got Invasion, Scourge, Legions, Journey to Nyx. I can't remember when I picked that up, but I probably got it in some kind of Walmart product or something and stuck it aside. Got 6th edition, uh, classic 6th edition, Chronicles, not much to speak of, but old stuff to open, um, Fate Reforged, Alara Reborn, uh, Exodus, part of the Wrath Cycle, which I'm really looking forward to opening, um, Visions, I've opened uh, some of my Visions packs before, um, so I'll be opening that on here. And uh, Theros pack. I must have picked this up in Nyx, uh, during the Nyx at some point. It's not much to speak of unless you had a Planeswalker. A god, I guess, is from that set. Uh, the gods in that set. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and crack all these packs and we'll see how we do. I'm pulling out my old laptop here to uh, be able to tell prices on some of this stuff. Um, I'm not, I don't remember the. Uh, Excuse my cord here. I don't remember the prices on a lot of this stuff, so I'd like to be able to look it up. I know there's some big, there's a really, there's a $300 card in Exodus. $300, $100 card, and going down the list, 80, 50, I know there's some, there's some serious value um, in that set. A couple of these have really good chance at really good cards, so. Just want to have a laptop up and running, but we'll go ahead and start opening the uh, the less expensive, less uh, famous sets. Um, we'll do Fate and Forged. We'll do Journey to Nyx first, Theros, Fate and Forged, and then we'll start on the old stuff um, once my laptop boots. I would use my keyboard, but uh, I'd use my PC, but the keyboard tray can't be open because the tripods there. So, um, start with our journey the Nyx. I can't remember what you can find in this pack. I think it again, it's a uh, pretty much Planeswalker bust on this and Theros. Um, I can't fully remember, but uh, I know there's some good cards for modern uh, still in these sets. Sorry, I'm logging my uh, computer in. Add some realism, right? Okay, Golden Hind is our first card. Beast of Dreams, a Cloaked Siren, a Lightning Diadem, a Laguna Band Trailblazer, a Market Festival, a Mortal Obstinacy, a Sigiled Starfish, nothing like a starfish on the battlefield, a Desecration Plaque, a Starfall. And our we have a foil in this pack that should be exciting or not exciting all right computers up we have ritual of the return a blinding flare a storm chaser chimera and we have a mythic Karanos god of storms um, he is a legendary enchantment creature, god, indestructible. As long as your devotion to blue and red is less than seven, Karanos isn't a creature. Reveal the first card you draw on each of your turns. Whenever you reveal a land card this way, draw a card. Whenever you reveal a non-land card this way, Karanos deals three damage to target creature or player. He's 6-5, five, 5 manas, and with indestructible. So he's 
pretty darn powerful, and I imagine this is worth a few bucks. I'm gonna take a quick peek. This might be a little longer video because I wanna. This is old stuff of mine, and I wanna take some time opening it. And I, I hope you guys enjoy seeing this old stuff open. Um, I'm not gonna open my super old stuff until we've got a. I've got more of a subscriber base and more people to share it with. Um, so tell your friends. You know, tell people you know online. Come check out my uh, check out my page and check out my videos. Like, subscribe. I know everybody. Uh, everybody likes seeing old packs open. I don't know anybody that doesn't. And I'll be opening a lot of standards. Whether you like standard, whether you like modern, whatever you like. Um, be doing deck techs and a lot of stuff like that. So keep an eye out. So that's uh, seven dollars and fifty cents. It's a good start. Kirino's God of Storms. Good start. It's bad when a most expensive card in a set is the uh, fourteen dollar Planeswalker and the eleven dollar Arthos God of Passage, but. It's this whole block, which is kind of terrible. Uh, Lash of the Whip, Messenger Speed, God's Willing, Grey Merchant, Asphodel, a Cetessian Griffin, a Triton Shore Thief, an Anol, Titan Strength, Yoked Ox, a Voyaging Satyr, Satyr, um, Horizon Scholar, a Chronicler of Heroes. I do I have two of the same? No, oh, sorry. Uh, Chronicles are uncommons. Chronicler of Heroes. A Spellheart Chimera. A Hero's Downfall is our rare. I think I missed a mythic. Oh well. I mean, a uh, rare. Hero's Downfall. Uh, it's for three, three mana. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. It's okay. There's better cards out there, that's for sure. Land, that's kind of a cool looking land. Well, we're gonna do Fate Reforged. I'm assuming that's a Liliana on the front of the pack. Not sure. I do have more of each of these packs, uh, but uh, I'm just gonna do one of them at a time. So Ugin is the big hit from this uh, this set. Ugin, Spirit Dragon, and Monastery Mentor, and then uh, the next card from there is three dollars. So uh, it's Ugin or bust. So Battlefront. Crushcock, uh, Wild Slash, Noxious Dragon, and a Just Guy Infiltrator is our rare. And that is worth squat. So. And let's go ahead and uh, start on these. Trying to decide. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with Alara Reborn. Exodus is the the money maker, so um, we'll do Invasion, Scourge, Legions, 6th edition, Exodus, Visions. I'll do Chronicles first. Chronicles is pretty janky, but we'll see what we get. I've got uh, several of these Chronicles packs. I just never open them. I know there's not a lot to speak of, but um, some fun stuff in here. Blood Moon mainly. Um, yeah, Blood and Moon's 25 bucks. Concordia Crossroads and City of Brass. So any of those would be cool. Definitely take a Blood Moon. I know Blood Moon used to be, in this set, used to be 40 or 50, but I think uh, Masters 25 killed that, unfortunately. Now, I'm not even sure the order of the rares in, this pa in these packs, but we will find out. We got... Arena of the Ancients, we got a Voodoo Doll, that's a Legends card, a Bronze Horse, 
an Ashnod's Altar, and that's a $3 common right there. On uh, Urza's Mine, and that is not the Claude Sphere, that is the Pulley Mine, so that's a $1.50. The Wall of Vapor, the Keepers of the Faith, an Argothian Pixies, the Goblins of the Flarg, an Urza's Power Plant, nice. Wall of Heat and a Boomerang. And I'm not sure which of these was our, uh, our rare, to be honest. I remember Boomerang. Boomerang was an awesome card. Back when I played, um, originally, I was a youngster. Um, and I don't even see, I don't think I see a rare here. I think I got uh, shorted a rare, and this Bronze Horse is the rare. I beat Bronze Horse. Yeah, who cares? Whatever it is, it's not a uh, not a blood moon. So let's go ahead and do invasion. Both of these are worth a little bit. All these are worth a little bit. So those are cool to get. So invasion. Phyrexian Altar is our money card for five bucks. Captain Sisse, Empress Galena, and Aura Shards. And there's several uh, cards around ten bucks in this set, so let's give it a shot. We got a uh, Geothermal Crevice. Opt. Nice original Opt. Very nice. Land of War Calvary. Stormscape Apprentice. Serpentine Kavu. Soul Burn. Wandering Stream. Morning. Orm's Touch. Obsidian Acolyte, Frenzied Tilling, here's our uncommons, we got an Essence Leak, we have a Backlash, and Aura Shards is the big uncommon, so Essence Leak, Backlash, which I thought Backlash was worth a few bucks, I guess I'm wrong, an Archaeological Dig, cool looking card. Not worth anything unfortunately. And our rare is Skizik. I think they remade this in uh, M25. Uh, not worth anything unfortunately. But fun anyway. Alright, Scourge is our next pack. in this set, but uh, Sliver Overlord is a, a nice, pretty penny. It's ten bucks, so but, uh, I don't think these packs sell for a whole lot, but I still have one left over. Old stuff's always fun. Divergent Growth, Temporal Fissure, a Misguided Rage, a Rock Jockey. That's a funny name for a card. Three Mana Goblin for 3-3. Three, three. That's not too bad. You can't play a Rock Jockey if you play a land this turn. That's kind of a cruddy bit, and you can't play lands if you played Rock Jockey this turn. Uh, that's an interesting card. Uh, would not play it. Even Liberator, a Twisted Abomination, a Sprouting Vines, a Coast Watcher, and our uncommons, a Riptide Survivor, um, Undead War Chief is actually a $5 card, so uh, Goblin War Chief, nice original Goblin War Chief, that'll go in my, uh, my Goblin deck for a uh, Dominaria. A reward the faithful. And our rare is primitive etchings. Alright. So I'm gonna go right to Alaria Alara Reborn. If I remember this is actually a some serious value in this set. So let's check it out. Do I pick this up? I don't remember when I got this, but I've had it for a while. Yeah, there's some good cards. Meddling Mage, Carthus Tyrant of Moon, uh, Maelstrom Pulse, 
Maelstrom, Nexus, Sin Triplets, uh, Lord of Extinction, Dragon, Brother, uh, Broodmother, and the Lich Lord of Unks are the main cards. Bloodbraith Elf is also in the set. That'd be a, and that's a uncommon, so that'd be nice. Putrid Leech, a Colossal Might, a Pale Recluse, a Naya Sojourners, a Siege Mind Ogre, a Jund Sojourners, a Veldekin Ghoul, a Sigil Behemoth, Also, Pride Mage is a, a buck or two. A Violent Outburst, another Grixis Sojourners. I remember a lot of the older sets, there was so much duplication, especially um, the original sets. Um, Bitnimus Blast, a Vengeful Rebirth, a Sigil Captain. Zombie token. That's interesting. I remember the common being in front. I think this may mean we have a foil. No, we don't. We have a fight to the death. And that's worth jank. It's alright though. It was fun. That's an awesome 2 2 zombie token. Wow. It's pretty crazy looking. Alright. And we have a pack of legions. Go ahead and crack it. And uh, what we're looking for here is a seaborn, a seaborn muse, and uh, the slivers. All the slivers are worth a pretty good amount here, uh, five bucks or more. So we have a gem palm avenger, a fugitive wizard, a glowering rogan. A Goblin Turncoat, a Starlight Invoker, a Berserk, a Merlodont, um, a Mistform, Sea Swift, a Skirk Outrider, a Suit Feather Flock, a Mistform Sliver. I'll keep the sliver out. A Neil Shot Gorna. Alright, and here is our, our Arm Commons. A Deathmark Prelate. We have a Primok Escapee. A Zombie Brute. And a rare is a Goblin Goon. Nice little mark up there. Alright, 6th edition. I don't know what's in 6th edition. Check it out. Vampiric Tutor and Worldly Tutor and Enlightened Tutor are big hits in 6th edition. So let's hope for Vampiric Tutor. That'd be pretty awesome. Alright, so we have... Uh, it looks like we're on commons or in the front. I'm assuming that the fourth card in is the rare. So we'll do that. I hope it's not right there. No, it is not. Okay. So we have a healing salve. I always liked healing salve. Healing salve is an awesome card. Um, a panther warriors. 6-3 for 5. Uh, Skade zombies. A fear. Storm crow. Boomerang. A Naba shaman. And, and Kendu Griffin, I remember playing him a lot. He's he's only four mana, but flying first strike's pretty nice. Um, he's only a two two, but it's still nice. Uh, Shatter, a Blood Pet, an Infantry Veteran, a Wind Spirit as our first uncommon. The big uncommon is Mystical Tutor. Um, we have a Moss Diamond. That's interesting. We have a Orcish Oriflame, and our rare is a Cursed Totem. Huh, that's a $4 card, not too bad, and I don't know what Moss Diamond goes for. I, I remember Moss Diamond being somewhat decent, but it doesn't look like it's even on the, on the dollar or more list, but Cursed Totem is nice. I like Cursed Totem. So. Uh, Cursed Totem, that's two mana. 
It's an artifact. Uh, players can't play activated abilities of creatures. So it's it shuts everything down, which is very nice. If you're not playing a creature deck, then if you're playing control or removal, then you pretty well shut down a lot of decks. So I'm going to do visions first because Exodus is our, uh, our biggest pack we got here. The visions. In an earlier video, you can see me opening two packs of visions. Nothing much out of those packs, so let's hope this one's a little better. And our big hits, Vampiric Tutor in here, and then Tithe, Undiscovered Paradise, Natural Order, and City of Solitude. So let's hope uh, we hit something out of this. We have a Breeze Keeper, a Parapet, an Infernal Harvest, a Squaw Lancer, a Spider Coin, an Impulse, a Tar Pit Warrior, a Raging Gorilla, an Elven Cash, a Remedy, Sisse's Ring, Phyrexian Marauder. I think I may have blown by the rare, but oh well, too late anyway. Blanket of Night, a Talorum Piper, and a Brass Talon Chimera. Let's see what the uh, rare was. That's an uncommon, so I'm assuming Phyrexian Marauder was probably our, uh, our rare. It was not even on the top of the list, so Phyrexian Marauder, yep. So, not sure what was worth what there. I'll have to look it up later. I'm not seeing any of it on the left, on the map, so it's all right. We got some cool cards the last time we opened this: Grand Ranger and Grand Druid, which are both pretty cool cards. So Exodus is our last pack, also our uh, our best chance of value. There's some very expensive cards in this set, and uh, I've got a couple of these as well, a handful of them. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you do well with it. Our most expensive card, City of Traders, 300 bucks. Uh, survival of the Fittest is 100, and then down from there, Mind Never Matter. Some pretty cool cards in here. So, definitely looking for a City of Traders. So, I believe this is normal rarity, normal order of shackles. Wait a second. Look at something here. That's an uncommon. What a weird order here. Oh well, let's do it. Shackles, Cat Burglar, Pygmy Troll, Dalco Scout, Onslaught, Standing Troops, Curiosity. I'm thinking I know the order on this one. Shattering Pulse, Charging Paladin, Carnophage. That's such an awesome looking art. Just nasty. And there's calling the weak is the only uh, common of note, and um, reconnaissance is the only uncommon of note. Carnophage, reclaim, robe of mirrors. And we have a curiosity as our first uncommon. A Pegasus stampede. Scrivener. And our rare is. Thopter Squadron. Nothing much there. Well, unfortunately, that wasn't uh, not much to speak of there, but opening is always fun. Yeah, those are good, fun packs to open. So, um, I've got more coming. i got one more. I'll probably do two more videos today, actually. Uh, do a deck tech and something else, and I'll, I'll post these up later. Uh, I'm probably going to post this one today. And I'll post, post the rest later. So, uh, so I know I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, everybody have a wonderful night. Please like, subscribe, and follow.